save a little bit for the end of the show uh, it's been a blast they were amazing I need to get some video so unless I can get something plugged in here uh, this will probably be the last little bit of the, the hustle and bustle here but I've had a blast people are great and uh, this is what America's all about man people sharing people just people helping each other out it's not a chaos with all these people they're just all getting together and it's all working it's great and it's amazing what a lot of people can do in one area uh, so remember that everybody so I'm gonna go back into the show here and hopefully I have enough power to uh, give you the end of the show if not the worst thing you can ever do is plan for the inevitable and no one else does and then tell everybody else how you plan for the inevitable. Well, absolutely. When yeah. the inevitable happens, they all want to come to your house. Yeah, fuck that. But that's why, say, that's I, why I live you in the middle of go. nowhere, dude. You gotta go. I live you're up in the do. middle of the sticks, dude. You're gonna have to go. And that's why you moved to a town of 700. Awesome. So this dude I'm talking to lived in New York City for a while, and he he had to bail, man. He went to a little town of 700 people because the government was sketching him out. Sketching? That's what I'm talking about. That's what he's talking about. See what people are saying? It's not just me, everybody. It's fucking everybody. You know what's going on. It's not everybody. It's not. Everybody goes off the cliff like lemmings. Very few go. What the fuck's going on? And they run. Tennessee Jed! Right on! Yeah, right. That's Tennessee Jed, Jed right there. You guys kick ass, man. And, uh, We're all anybody here like at the show else, is bro. great. Right on. Party on, guys. Anybody?
close to the end of the show. I'm just getting out to the van. It was pretty much of a hustle to get out of there. Uh, it was a blast, everybody. Heading back to Champlain, and hopefully I can get a ride quick in the morning and get to my house. Uh, it was a good time today. And remember, everybody, today could be your last day. Love, it. Love and respect everything you can. Party on. Hey, if you could sum up one word about our government, what would you say? Bullshit. No. So there you go. That's one. Hey, yo, if you had one word to say about our government, what would you say? Fuck. Fucked, huh? Fucked. Right on. Hey, if you had one word to say about our government, what would you say? Fuck, fuck. That's these guys. Hey, if you guys had one word to say about our government, what would you say? Poop. Poop? Yeah. I like poop. You, Joke. bro? Choke. Choke? Right on. Party on, guys. Spicy. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. I didn't get one good answer, and that was pretty easy. So take that for yourself. So, dude, if you had one word to say about our government, what would you say? Slow. Slow? Hey, I like it. It's different. Hey, if you guys had one word to say about our government, what would you say? So good morning, everybody. Uh, show went well. It was awesome. Uh, couldn't have had a better time. Met some cool people. Got some great opinions. Uh, everybody's thinking the same way we are. I can tell you that right now. We just got to speak up a little louder and a little more and keep passing the word. And I really think, you know, maybe we could do something here. Maybe we could get some people woke up around here. Uh, maybe our new elected officials, you know, coming up here in 2012, maybe they can come with some of our ideas. Uh, it's called common sense ideas. Uh, but the show was amazing. Uh, I haven't seen the dead in a long time, and it was just, it was great, and I needed that. And I hope you guys enjoy the video I did for everybody. And uh, it was like having you guys with me. It was cool. So have a good day, everybody. Walk.